Hey everybody, DSJ here. Time to play one of these games that I truly love back in the 16 bit era. You seen it right. Let's play Donkey Kong Country. Uh, playing this playing this game again really bring back memories. <laughs> I remember back in middle school, I was trying to get this game for Christmas. And I should have known better that my father wasn't into video games. And I told him specifically, I wanted Donkey Kong Country for Christmas. And he went to every Walmart, Kmart, when, it was, when Kmart had a lot of stores back then. Toys R Us, Babbage's before it got absorbed into GameStop. And he was just telling people, I do y'all have a copy of Dumpy Corn World? And yeah, people looked at him like he was fucking crazy. And then I kept asking him, are you sure you gave him the right title? He was like, yeah, but think about it. We talking about a guy who pretty much don't play video games like his children does. I need Diddy. But yeah. So one day, I went to Cross Creek Mall in Fayetteville. Yes, I'm talking about Fayetteville, North Carolina, by the way. But yeah, ah, oh, wow. Yeah, it's been a while since I played this. Yeah, we went to Cross Creek Mall or whatever. And I went to Babbage's, and lo and behold, I found the last copy of the game. And then I showed my father the box, I was like, this is the game I was asking for. He was like, oh, I must say the wrong name. And you know, I was in middle school, I can't just straight up and tell my father oh, no shit. Because if I said it right then, the game was right there in my grasp, I wouldn't have got it. But anyway, but yeah, of course he got the name wrong, but you know, I managed to get the game for Christmas and it, and you know, it came with a free Donkey Kong Country t-shirt, too bad I don't have it anymore, cause I wore that t-shirt to, I wore it to death. But yeah, let's talk about how I'm gonna pl play through this game. I'm not 100 complete. I'm not 100 percent percent in this. I'm just gonna, well, finish. Yeah, finish it. Granted, game it. The game itself is easy to complete. 100 percent. But it can become a chore if you try to. And once the game becomes a chore to me, it's not fun to me anymore. Damn. Oh yeah, here's another reason why I said I was going to um, find all the bonus stages in this game. Because I'm not going to lie. I kind of forgot where some of them were. Yeah. Doubly fucked that up.
Yeah, I know there's one here. I ain't gonna lie, if they're that obvious for me to see, I will go to them. If I remember where they were, I'll go to them now. If I if I had to deal with to the if I had to deal with um backtracking to the stations to find one, forget it. Now, when it comes to the sequels, Donkey Kong Country 2 and 3, yeah. Those two games, however, if I ever do a let's play of those two, I would have to own um, probably 100% those. Because those are the type of games that you, know, you have to. You have to find everything just to get, you know, to get the most out of it. I'm actually surprised I'm keeping Donkey Kong this long. Because most of the time I usually switch to Diddy. Reason being, Diddy is fast and cooler looking. However, I'm not going to be that much of dick to get DK, you know. Granted, I have wondered about the identity of this DK. Meaning this is Don Kong Jr.'s son. While Cranky is the grandfather, which, yes, in the instruction booklet, I think even in a recent game, I think it's Tropical Freeze, even said that um, this is DK's, um, Cranky is DK's um, grandfather. If that is the case, then yeah, he is the son of Dr. Khan Jr. But yes, yeah, some, some of the games did say this DK was the son of Cranky Kong, which, yeah, that would cause a lot of issues. It's like the whole where the hell Blaze the Cat came from thing all over again. No, Matt Fat, no, this, this is, well, that whole thing did it first. With the, with the whole, what is Cranky Kong to Donkey Kong? I'm like, as far as I'm concerned, he's the third. I just realized I forgot to change the um, title of the file. Oh well, I'll change the folder name after I finish recording this. I'm not gonna lie, this game is kind of easy to beat quickly until you get to the snow world. <laughs> yeah, the snow world. I'm not gonna, uh, you see like subtle hints to um, secret paths in this game. After a while, you'll like, you be like, hmm, let me look through every nook and cranny and beat this game. If you do want some hints for like, for some of the um, bonus level locations, Go to Cranky Set. Oh, uh, yeah, that was supposed to be the one up there, I think. Oh, well. Who cares? But, you know, the one thing that really got me into this game, besides the gameplay, hell, even the plot. Even though I'm just getting my damn bananas back, the music is top notch. Then each sequel got better with the music. And granted, 3 was kind of a little off. Then the Game Boy Advance version of uh, Duck Kong Country 3's music was even. Yeah, it was just completely redone, and I don't know why. I mean, it's not 
bad is jarring at best. But yes, I love this underwater thing. Believe it or not, this is one game that make me appreciate the water level. Yeah, I'm staying away from that clown. I know for what I'm saying, uh, I know for what I'm talking about right now, I'm basically geeking out, but oh well. I'm really not ashamed about it. Yeah, the point of me is just jumping in just to go here. There's really no point. I just felt like doing that. But you know, um, Funky Kong on his transport. All it does is, well, it can help you revisit some older stages. Damn, I actually lost DK. Holy shit. Is there a... No. <laughs> yeah, if you see, like, dumb deaths like that... I'm just... I'm just making sure I ain't miss no barrel here. Whoa! Okay, um, let's try that again. Let's go. Okay, let's. Damn it! I lost Diddy. Oh, yeah, if I would have took that one barrel at the very beginning of the stage, I could avoid most of the level. But I'd rather not. However, I will use that shortcut on that snow level. Let's go. Yeah, after you figure out a rhythm of how those um, blast barrels work, you would be fine. Uh, yeah, I'm beginning to question why I have this. Go. Uh -huh. All right. Made it through. Missed the end, but oh, I don't care. Let's go. Yeah, I didn't get all the bonus levels there. <laughs> I figured that. Oh, hey, okay, Candy Con, who I haven't seen since. Don't call it 64, I think. She probably showed up on, she probably showed up at on King of Swing, which I never really played. Or Barrel Blast, which I have and never touched. I don't know if she showed up on Barrel Blast or not. But seriously, I never touched that game. Because I already heard it was bad. <laughs> That's the reason why I'm afraid of touching it. Come on.
Wow. That was actually easy. And I ain't gonna lie, Monkey Mines is one of my favorite level worlds to visit. Till next time, we're gonna hit up that world.